Hello class 7 students. How are you all? I hope you all are doing well. I am Priyanka Singh, your digital mentor. So, today I am here to start with the chapter number 5 of science. So, the name of the chapter 5 is Acid, Bases and Salts. There are a large number of edible substances like lemon, salt, sugar, tamarind, curd, etc. which we use in our daily life. Do they have the same taste? Let us recall the taste is of few edible substances given in table. So students, are you able to see this table? So, cereal number, substances, taste, sour, bitter, salty, sweet, any other. So, number one is lemon juice. And the taste of the lemon juice is sour. On number two, there is orange juice. The taste of orange juice is sour and sweet. And on number three, there is a curd. The taste of the curd is sour. Number four, grapes. Taste sour and sweet. Five, sugar. Taste sweet. Number six, common salt. Taste salty. Number seven, amla. Taste bitter. Number eight, unripe mango. Taste sour. Number nine, baking soda. Taste bitter. Number 10, tamarind that is imli and the taste of tamarind is sour. Number 11, vinegar taste sour. Number 12, glucose taste sweet. In the table we find these substances taste sour, some taste bitter, some taste sweet and some taste salty. Acids Substances like lemon, vinegar, curd, etc. taste sour. Do you know why? It is because these substances contain chemicals called acids, which give them their sour taste. The term acid comes from the Latin word acer, which means sour. All acids have a sour taste. Acid are of two types. Natural acids and mineral acids. Natural acids, they are organic acids. The acid which are found in plants and animals are called natural acids or organic acids. Natural acid and their sources. The table given below gives the name of natural or organic acids and their sources. So children, are you able to see the table? So serial number, name of natural or organic acid. Sources. Number one, citric acid. Source, citrus fruits such as oranges, lemon, etc. Number two, lactic acid. Source, curd. Number three, ascorbic acid. Source, amla, citrus fruits. Number four, tartaric acid. Sources, tamarind, grapes, unripe mangoes, etc. Number five, acetic acid. Source, vinegar. Number six, oxalic acid. Source, spinach, tomatoes, guava, etc. Number seven, malic acid. Source, apples. Number eight, amino acid. Source, proteins. Number nine, tannic acid. Source, tea. Number ten, glycolic acid. Source, sugarcane juice. The natural or organic acids are weak acids. The dilute solutions of weak acid, that is natural acids mixed with water to dilute them, are quite safe to consume. Many food like pickle and tomato ketchup contain acetic acid in the form of vinegar. Vinegar preserves fruits and vegetables. Tartaric acid is mixed with baking powder used in making cakes and biscuits. Mineral acid. The acids prepared from the minerals of the earth are called mineral acids. They are man-made acids and are also known as laboratory acids because they are used in the science laboratory to perform experiments. The most common mineral acids are number one, sulfuric acid, number two, nitric acid, number three, hydrochloric acid. Mineral acids are very dangerous. They are highly corrosive in nature.
These acids can cause severe burns on the skin. These acids should be handled with great care. They should never be handled with bare hands or tasted. Concentrated and dilute acids. All acids are solution of acidic gases in water. A solution containing the maximum amount of the acidic gas is called concentrated acid. A solution containing lesser amount of the acidic gas that is larger amount of water is called dilute acid. Thus, acid solutions of different concentration can be prepared by changing the relative amount of the gas and water. In practice, dilute acid is prepared by slowly adding the required amount of concentrated acid into the calculated amount of water with constant stirring. Uses of Acids Sulfuric Acid Sulfuric Acid H2SO4 known as the king of chemicals is used in manufacturing of detergents, paints, fertilizers and many salts. Sulfuric acid is used in automobile batteries and fire extinguisher. It is used in petroleum industry for refining. It is used in the manufacturing of fertilizers such as superphosphate and ammonium sulfate. Nitric acid. It is used in the manufacturing of fertilizers such as ammonium nitrate. It is used to preparing aqua regia. It is used in the refining of gold and silver. It is used to make explosives such as nitroglycerin and trinitrotoluene TNT. Hydrochloric acid. It is used to make dyes, glue and medicines. It is used to prepare glucose from starch. It is used in the purification of common salt. It is used to prepare aqua regia, a mixture of three parts of HCl and one part of HNO3O, which is used for dissolving many metals. Base. Taste a pinch of baking soda. It has bitter taste. Make a solution of baking soda in water. Put a teaspoon of the solution on your hand and rub it with your fingers. It has a soapy feel. Substances which are bitter to taste and feel soapy on touch are called bases. Materials containing a base are called base and substances. Bases are substances that produce hydroxyl ion OH when dissolved in water NaOH that is sodium hydroxide. NaOH sodium hydroxide is a mixture of Na that is sodium ion plus OH negative that is hydroxyl ion. Greater the amount of OH negative ions produced the stronger is the base. Bases that are soluble in water are called alkalis. Example sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide all hydroxide compounds are bases but only water soluble bases are alkalis. So we can say is that all alkalis are bases but all bases are not alkalis. So some common bases and alkalis. So students are you able to see this table? In this table there are some common bases and alkalis and their chemical formulas. So we are starting with the base and their chemical formula. The first one is zinc hydroxide. Chemical formula ZnOH2. Magnesium hydroxide. Chemical name MgOH2. Copper hydroxide. Chemical name CuOH2. Aluminium hydroxide. AlOH3. Now we are starting with the alkali and their chemical formulas. So the first one is sodium hydroxide, chemical name NaOH, potassium hydroxide, chemical KOH, ammonium hydroxide, chemical name NH4OH, calcium hydroxide, chemical name CaOH2. Uses of bases or alkalis. The uses of some typical bases are described below. Sodium hydroxide, caustic soda, NaOH. In the manufacture of soap, sodium hydrochloride and other industry chemicals. In the manufacture of industrial cleaners which are used to remove oil and their impurities from metals. 
in preparation of artificial milk in preparation of salt in manufacturing of rayon cellophane textiles and paper calcium hydroxide slaked lime caoh2 in white wash in preparation of lime water in building construction in manufacture of bleaching powder in treatment of water and waste water ammonium hydroxide nh4oh it is used to manufacture fertilizers it is used to manufacture nylon plastics dyes rubbers etc it is used in refrigerator processes aluminium hydroxide aloh3 for preparing antacids in textile industry magnesium hydroxide that is mgoh2 used in making antacid formulations indicators we know that acids are sour while bases are bitter in taste but we cannot taste all substances to find whether they are acidic or bases in nature it is because some substances may be harmful to us now the question arises if we cannot taste every substances how we do find its nature we use indicators Indicators are special types of substances which are used to test whether a substance is acidic or basic in nature. How do the indicators work? The indicators change their the indicators change their color when added to a solution containing an acidic or a basic solution. Turmeric, litmus, china rose petals, etc., are some of the naturally occurring indicators. Phenethylene, methyl. orange etc are some of the man made indicators natural indicators first litmus litmus is a natural indicator made from the extract of lichens there are two types of litmus a red litmus paper when red litmus paper is treated with base it changes into blue color b blue litmus paper when blue litmus paper is treated with acid it turns into pink or red the second one is turmeric turmeric is used as spice in all homes turmeric acts as a very good indicator for acids and bases steps to make turmeric paper mix small amount of turmeric in a little water to make a paste now apply this paste on a bloating filter paper and allow it to dry cut thin strips of this yellow paper now use this to differentiate between acids and bases when your mother washes utensils in kitchen having turmeric on them the color immediately changes red when soap detergent is applied this is because bases give a red color with turmeric as indicator third China rose China rose or hibiscus is a flower whose petals can be used as a natural indicator China rose or hibiscus indicator turns the color of acidic solution of dark pink and that of basic solution to green phenolphthalein man made indicator phenolphthalein is an organic dye phenolphthalein indicator is prepared by dissolving the phenolphthalein dye in alcohol its solution is colorless basic solution or bases like baking soda solution shampoo solution etc change colorless phenolphthalein solution into deep pink color colorless phenolphthalein solution remains colorless when acid or neutral solution are added now children are you able to see this table this table is giving us the differentiation between the acids and bases so come and see what is the difference between acids and bases number 1 acid are sour in taste bases are bitter in taste number 2 acids give corrosive touch bases give soapy touch number 3 acid turn blue litmus to red bases turn red litmus to blue number 4 acid have no effect on the color of turmeric paper bases turn turmeric paper red 
Number five, acetone china rose indicator to magenta. Basistone china rose indicator to green. Number six, acetone methyl orange to red. Basistone methyl orange to yellow. Number seven, acetone purple color of red cabbage to red. Basistone purple color of red cabbage to green. Number eight, acid do not change the color of phenophthalein. Basis turn colorless phenophthalein to pink. Neutralization reaction, a chemical reaction between an acid and a base is called neutralization reaction. Salt and water are formed in this process which the evolution of heat energy. Acid plus base, salt plus water plus heat. From the observation that the test tube has become warm, we conclude that heat is evolved during a neutralization reaction. Thus, the neutralization reaction between an acid and a base is an exothermic reaction. The reaction between an acid and base or an alkali to form a salt and water is called neutralization reaction. The salt formed may give acidic, basic or neutral solution. For example, sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid gives sodium chloride plus water plus heat. Sodium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid gives sodium sulfate plus water plus heat. During the reaction between lime water and dilute sulfuric acid, heat is evolved. Therefore, reaction mixture becomes hot. Lime water plus sulfuric acid gives calcium sulfate plus water plus heat. Neutralization in everyday life In treating indigestion, hydrochloric acid is present in our stomach. This helps in creating right conditions to digest our food. It also kills the germs that might make us ill. If a person overeats, too much acid is produced in the stomach. This causes indigestion. To neutralize the excess acid formed in the stomach, antacids like milk of magnesia is taken. Milk of magnesia contains a base called magnesium hydroxide. In treating stings of ant and bee, the sting of an ant or a bee is acidic as it contains formic acid. The pain caused due to an ant sting or a bee sting can be neutralized by using bases like sodium bicarbonate solution NaHCO3 also called baking soda or calamine lotion. In the treatment of tooth decay, tooth decay is caused due to an acid that is produced by bacteria present in our mouth. If we do not clean our teeth properly, the bits of food remain between our teeth. Certain bacteria live on these bits of food and produce acid. This acid is the cause of tooth decay. Toothpaste is our basic in nature and neutralize this acid and thus help in preventing tooth decay. That is why dentists advise us to brush the teeth at least twice a day. In the treatment of soil, plants grow well in neutral soil. Plants do not grow well when the soil is either too acidic or too basic. This is turn. This in turn reduces the fertility of the soil. Excessive use of chemical fertilizer make the soil acidic. When the soil is too acidic, it is treated with bases such as quick lime, calcium oxide, slaked lime, calcium hydroxide. When the soil is too basic, then decaying organic matter called manure or compost is added to it. These manures release acids which neutralize the basic nature of the soil. In the treatment of industrial waste, the industrial waste is either too acidic or too basic. Too much of acid or base must be neutralized before discharging this waste into nullens or rivers. Too acidic industrial waste can be treated with quick lime or slaked lime to neutralize the excess acid. Too basic industrial waste can be treated with either acid or acidic waste discharge from some other industry. So it's time for Reader's Digest. Acids are of two types, natural 
and mineral. The acids prepared from the minerals of the earth are called mineral acids. A solution containing the maximum amount of the acidic gas is called concentrated acid. A solution containing lesser amount of the acidic gas is called dilute acid. Acids are sour while bases are bitter in taste. A chemical reaction between an acid and a base is called neutralization reaction. So students, it's time to take your leave. We'll meet in the next class. Bye.